You got so many arms there, girl. I do. Okay, we are good to go. Uh, this is the Fabric Regional Health District Facilities Committee meeting, uh, April nineteenth, two p.m. Call to order. Roll call, please. Director Jeffrey here. Director Morales here. Thank you. Do we have any members of the community wishing to speak? No. Roy will be in our conversation. So oh. okay, no, no public comments. Thank you so much. So we have a litany of discussion items that are familiar to us, right, Barbara? Absolutely. And it's a pleasure to hear about the progresses, progress eyes that are being made. Um, would you like to fill us in on anything, Judith, sure. before we turn to Roy? Sure. Um, we'll start with item B on the education building for classrooms one and four. Mm -hmm. um, so the HVAC um, was completed at this point. Um, we went ahead and installed those. The work was completed. Uh, that was probably three or four weeks ago. After completion, they came back on site to make sure that everything was working, so the charging, all that stuff. They'll come back during the hot summer months again to recalibrate or whatever stuff they need to make sure that it's working for this, um, for those two rooms. So everything is good with that. Um, sinks, cabinets, and storage lockers. Those are all in progress, um, you know, because of the plumbing that has to be fixed before um, they install the cabinets. Not necessarily fixed, but they have to truncate some plumbing portion of it. So those are slightly in progress while we pick all, all the cabinets. Um, but that's just something that Teresa and Rachel are working with. Um, and also the uh, Fallbrook plumbers helping us with that project. So that one's in there. Um, Flooring. We did have our flooring a contractor who finished everything for rooms one and four. Mm -hmm. uh, room four holding, um, or it has carpeting in it because we're going to be doing some educational stuff in there. We have Fix It Fridays in there right now. So um, that had carpeting. The one in the front had some sort of, I think, vinyl flooring, but it's all completed. So it's all good there. And um, the work, everybody has loved how those two rooms have come out because we've also completed the fourth point. The paint was also completed on those. Um, the two rooms were fully done. We are holding off a little bit. I think we're gonna paint the ceiling portion and uh, that's in progress. It hasn't been completed. Okay, bravo for rooms one and the four. The pictures, <laughs> I'm gonna say you're uh, talking about the pictures. Teresa should have those to us um, and then we can discuss at the next meeting where we want to place those though. as long as you have an ongoing you know it, it, it is just to to show to the community right the before and afters yeah so we'll go ahead i'll send her a reminder when she returns about you know uh, providing those to us and then we can discuss um either here at the next board meeting where you guys would like those published and then the sinks and the cabinets you said they're and storage lockers they're in progress what do you figure the, the estimated time of completion would be? Do you have any idea? Right now, we're probably looking at another three to four weeks. Three to four weeks. It's just mostly a function of actually receiving the product. I think they've chosen everything. Um, Supply chain. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. And, and Judith, are the ceilings panels like this? Or the Ceiling panels in those two rooms are very similar. And they're, they're going to paint them? They're going to paint the ones, not in that one, not in rooms one and four, the ones towards the other side of the buildings, three and six. They might be a slightly different material because we had somebody come and look at them to provide us the most cost-effective way to get them uh, to look presentable. So, was there a concern with the paint on that? Well, I know that they're supposed to be sound absorbing, and I don't know if the paint is going to change that character at all. Okay. I will we'll look into that since it hasn't been completed. We can always look at it now. I know when we replaced them, there was a concern with the sound absorbment, or some of them, some of them that were really badly replaced. So, okay. So that's everything for that point, uh, point B. Um, moving on to point C, if you guys are okay with it, because a lot of this is just um, providing you guys updates on it. Mm -hmm. The retrofitting on the windows, that was already completed, um, I think a week ago. Uh, they had finished installing 22 mil guard vinyl windows in the classrooms. They all look great. They're really helping with the temperature control for everything that we've been doing with the HVAC, so it looks really nice in there. Um, and then as far as the new blinds, um, they came out to do the measurements on those last week. 
um, we provided the deposit. So now we're just at the point where we're waiting for them to actually schedule the work with us. Probably in the next, hopefully three to four weeks that we can get on the schedule, it should be completed maybe by the next facilities meeting. Great, right. thank you. Mm -hmm. And the Ed building? Uh, the exterior paint and gutters? Mm -hmm. see on that one, we are pending the bid on that because of that metal component aspect yes. to it. So there's two um, items, D and items F, both have the metal component. So that is kind of drawing that out a little bit while getting the bid. Mm -hmm. um, so Rachel's working on that piece. And I'm glad you're doing that. <clears throat> You know, getting it right on the metal. Right, right. So that that metal component is what's causing a little bit of a delay on that, but um, that has been moving along. Okay. And then on the House of Wellness, we had said since we're going to be reordering the bathroom, yes, that we would need an architect to help us with that. Yes, and that is also um, moving right alongside where it's just a slow moving process because of the architects that she's asking basically for them to do a little bit of the mock-ups and draw-ups and all that stuff. So that one hasn't really progressed to the point where we can say, hey, we have a presentation for you. Okay. The architect is at play though? Yes. Okay. In the in the conversation. Very good. That's that in and of itself is progress. Yes. That's why I was like, well, we're working on it, but yeah. <laughs> do you know if the ADA compliance of the bathroom affects the exterior wall at all? Will they have to knock anything out? We don't know that piece yet. Um, I think that is kind of what she's working with them on um, because of the walls. And also, you know, she's also having them work on point D, which is the ADA compliance on the backyard. Mm -hmm. So she kind of wants to have it all looked at at the same time to see what, you know, is going to impact each other on the, the structure of the house. So she wants them to work on it and present it to you guys all together. So would we wait on painting the exterior until we know that? I think that's why all these points are kind of lumped together under kind of pending because, you know, we're waiting for the gutters before we paint, we're waiting for the paint before the ADA compliance. So they're kind of all building on each other. And I think we're waiting for the architects first to provide us with their idea. And then I think she may present those and then go from there to see what costs we want to incur. So it'd be fair to say that we're coordinating all of the projects relative to the House of Wellness. Yes, perfect wording. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> okay, I think we've uh, headed right towards H now. That one, uh, she's working with Rob Holmes on that one. Mm -hmm. That is something that because of the size of the project, um, they are going to run it by Jeff. So that one's still completely in gotcha. progress. Okay. Well, was there talk at some point about shade structures that would have solar panels on them? Yes. That would be further down the line, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, the thought was, and I'm sure it's on the list for Ron, is that we, we need to consider as we make the the changes to the parking lot, any infrastructure we want for future solar, even though we may not do the solar for a while. Uh, <clears throat> I referenced the high school situation. You're right, yes. Where they're putting in the infrastructure now, knowing they're not gonna, uh, uh, what's initiate solar power, solar power, power for a while. So we, and I think there was consensus, we need to do that as well so that we take advantage of the construction all at once of any infrastructure. Thank you for reminding us. Yes, I was going to say, I mean, I'm sure, for, I mean, I'm sure yeah. it's on her list yeah. uh, because it was a very um, prominent point when we yeah. discussed it. So. Cool. I was just wondering about that with regard to um, any kind of credits that we get for having solar installed in California on an entity like this. Because there's all sorts of programs that are out there pitching it right now. Yeah, mainly for residential, but that's a good point. I mean, if we can some way avail ourselves of that um, cost-effective measure, it would be certainly yeah. a blessing. And I don't know whether it comes in a tax kind of situation, which we wouldn't have, really wouldn't apply for because we aren't taxed, but it might have a usage mm -hmm. uh, rebate. So. I'm sure that'll be in the conversation. Yeah, I'm going to say it'll be in the conversation. I can also run it by, I'm working with a group right now, utility cost management. I'm going to go off the top of my head. And they're, um, they kind of assist special districts with utility costs and trying to lower things. So I can ask them just yeah. on a side. Hey, note. hey, we're yeah. looking at solar at one of our 
campuses and uh, how does that work for, for a governmental agency in terms of rebates? Right, so I can start doing a little bit of the legwork there. Well, I'm sure you're right. It's probably gonna be brought up at the point of yeah. actual implementation to see what we can get out of it. Cool, all right. Good, good, good news at all. It may, you know, it's slow and steady wins the race. As Aesop's fable said. <laughs> cool. Now, Roy, we turn to you because you have added perspective. Do you have anything you want to share with us today? No, I, I think everything's moving forward real well. The only thing I'm wondering is, did, have, did, is there is there a priority list we're following? This is it. This is okay. This is it. We brought this back to our board colleagues when the change was made, and this is it. So at the end of all this, new discussions occur? New discussions occur. Okay. Yeah. And part of that will be preceded by those two community meetings on May 4 and 6. six. six. Thank you very much. I thought I had them. You know, May 4 and 6, we've had having these community dialogues, and that might uh, in uh, inform our talk as well. In the redoing of the parking lot, have we looked into lighting and yeah. where that stands? What are we these have are to have there? lighting. I know it was in the initial conversation and I can't imagine it wouldn't still be there, but can you make sure? I will make sure because I know we, we focused lighting. on the actual asphalt and everything, so I'll make sure it's yeah. uh, listed on there. And it now, be, now would be the time. Now would be the time. Before tearing up the parking lot. <laughs> and, more light posts. And, and before grading. Yes. You know, so, and that could be like a nice partner with infrastructure for solar. You know, let's begin with the end in mind, so to speak. Yeah. So, and lighting. On, on items like that, would you not consider it be a priority to address those so that we, that we don't get caught up in other things? before we address that. That's why it's on that list. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's my understanding that, as you said, once we get through this list, then we move on to other things, but that this is our priority. Yeah, so lighting goes in the parking and solar is in the parking, mm -hmm. but we'll we'll go on to the next list when when the board feels that we're farther, we're, we're as far on this as we need to be to do the new list. Oh, we're, we're, um obligated to specific performance, not just pending. I mean, because some of these oh, things, coming. I know, it just seems like sometimes they take forever. No, <clears throat> not forever yet. We've not got really. a lot, a lot's done and a lot's on its way. Yes. Mm. Kind of like a baby. It gets you know, the only thing it's to think ready. about too is, I'm trying to remember where that electric meter is. Do you, you know, too? The electric meter for which portion? For, for, is it all on one meter, the whole property? Uh, yes, I believe so. House of Wellness is set for this, is it not? Meter wise? No, I don't think so. I think it's oh. all on one because when I looked at the SDG and bills, it's I think it's only one meter reading that we're doing at the whole Do you property. know where it's located? Where is it located? I don't remember. Well, the reason I'm asking is mm -hmm. that when the time comes to put in solar, they're going to have to run electrical to the meter. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, we I, have I, it on the map. I thought you meant like, do I, I was like, off the top of my head, I don't remember specifically what it is, right. but I know we may have it on the map um, from when we did our initial walkthroughs. And then so the thought it. is, if when we come in to put solar, they're going to have to tear up the parking lot and trench it right. and get to the electric meter. So, Another thing to think about. Yeah, put that on the list of parking lot. Uh, meter location relative to parking lot construction and solar installation. Yeah. Yeah, and those, I mean, there will be probably a list of concerns whenever you are installing solar. Well, and we wrong. count on the subject yeah. matter experts yeah. who are helping us install the solar exactly. to provide us the list of all the things that we should consider before we sign the contract, yeah. which I'm assuming will bring to facilities as those projects come through to full fruition so that we can talk about all the additional costs because I'm sure that will also incur costs mm -hmm. trenching doing things in a variety of different ways. So this one's a good heads up for the list. For the list relative to park line, so to solar say, and electricity. If there's anything else you can think of, then definitely let us know because you know, like I said, we are looking to them for their opinion, but we also appreciate the guidance you're providing here so that we can have both sides really have a good conversation. Thank you. Yeah, and the reason is that if the meter is located, say on the, the third building, uh -huh. then maybe it would make sense to put shade structures in the dirt area. And create an outdoor mm -hmm. a gazebo type of field because it'll be closer 
to the meter and easy to trench in the dirt than tearing up the parking lot. Those are things we'd have to look at once we know where that meter is. Okay. Right. And I was going to ask if, um, is Mr. Holmes the uh, architect of choice that, that uh, is staying on the project or we have a retainer or is this just a one-time consultation thing? He's coming back uh, based upon his workforce in this parking lot. Okay, yeah. Okay, thank you for mm -hmm. the contract. Okay. All righty. Barbara, do you have any comments or future agenda items? <laughs> no, I'm just impatient. I have to uh, <clears throat> practice um, temperance. <laughs> I, I don't want to get out there and go, come on, ladies, we want to be involved. <laughs> and it's just because I was married to a contractor. <laughs> I really encourage a contract. Yeah, he, 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 with it, you know, it's always the specific performance, and that's you know per contract. And you had a timeline, you had a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it's it's uh, difficult at times, though the circumstances are certainly understandable, to know that it's going to take longer because you don't have you can't control everything, and you can no. <laughs> 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 That's my daily um, administration to myself is you can't control everything. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, and, and a contractor wants to have, you know, it under control. And in, yeah. in my managed care life under contracts, it was all about specific performance timelines, etc. You know, the unknown carve outs. And, and, yeah. and you, you just were always on the alert for where you could get taken advantage of. So yeah, I, and I think it's that's something to always keep top of mind. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, I, I think our board is fabulous, and uh, we're staying very attentive to things, and um, we we'll just keep moving forward and pray to God we don't have any other <clears throat> scam demics or anything like that. <laughs> so I I think we're we are any Barbara, you've been on the board a long time. I think we're we are continuing the advocacy and the vigilance that boards before us had. Yeah, I think so. You know, so we continue the tradition with a great professional staff and hearing no other comments. Sure. Thank, Thank you both Thank you. so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm gonna take this with me for my next drive. I just had a meeting with the Paul